Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning weather extreme video for Tuesday, January 28th, a snow day for Alabama. Winter storm warning for the southern half of the state. Uh, everybody in Arctic cold, a lot of things to talk about. So let's go in there and get right to it. We'll begin with the big picture. This is the water vapor satellite view across the nation this morning. There is a the big trough covering so much of the nation, complete with a cross polar flow. And you know it's going to be cold. We're starting off this day with upper teens and low to mid-20s. Uh, the cold spot, Haleyville at 16, Birmingham sitting at 22, mid-20s for Anniston and Tuscaloosa, and uh, will warm barely today. Uh, the, the guidance coming in colder. The GFS showing a high of 31. The NAM showing a high of 30 for Birmingham, so most places stay below freezing all day. And let me tell you what, that is about as cold as it gets over the continental United States. That is tough. Very, very cold air, and uh, we're going to see lows in the 10 to 15 degree range tomorrow and Thursday morning with uh, single-digit lows for the colder valleys. That's clearly the story for everybody is the cold, but what people want to talk about, it's the snow. The, these are the watches and warnings. The counties in the uh, shades of pink, those are winter storm warnings, basically all the way from Houston to the Tidewater around Virginia Beach, Virginia. And, of course, in our state, that includes about the southern half of Alabama. Now, the counties in the darker blue, that is a winter weather advisory on the northern periphery of the winter storm warning where there could be some light accumulation. show you the National Weather Service graphic. And, again, this just shows the counties in their county warning area. But that's a pretty good representation of what we think is going to happen. Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, a dusting of snow and clearly there's going to be some snow for these cities i mean don't you know panic when you look out the window this morning and it's snowing but if you're looking for accumulation head south and again there could be you know a quarter to one inch uh, for places like demopolis greensboro brent calera silicaga ashland lineville and then the one to two inch range would include uh, selma and uh, lake martin and Rockford. And then you get down there toward Montgomery and Troy, you're looking at maybe three inches or more. And if you, there's the big graphic we've been showing for days. And again, uh, you know, somebody down there south and east of Montgomery could see four inches on the high end. It will be very interesting to see how this whole thing plays out. And, and as you work your way south, this stuff's going to start as rain and freezing rain and, you know, some sleet for the coastal cities, but it will change over to snow before ending, and it might leave an inch in places like Mobile and, and Foley and Pensacola and maybe Gulf Shores. Now, we'll have to do some digging through the books. You know, it could very well be the last time they had accumulating snow on the Gulf Coast was uh, 1993. This is the radar. This was at 416 this morning, and that's the uh, snow headed our way from Mississippi. And that will expand and move east. Looks like some pretty decent snow rates are below Interstate 20 there in South Mississippi. And it's kind of a big broad view at 4 o'clock. And again, you can see how things are evolving pretty much on track. And again, at this phase, you just kind of look out the window. You look at radar and satellite trends, really more than computer modeling. But we still look at modeling. So let's take a look. We'll show you a bunch of maps here. This is the uh, OZGFS at noon today. And there's the deal. The trough axis is still west of the state. So you've got an overrunning situation. And uh, the 540 line is, is down there below Birmingham at noon today. And precipitation moves in. And uh, for us, it will be all snow up here. And uh, again, mostly light snow. And down south in Mobile, it's probably going to start off as rain, then changing over to sleet and freezing rain, and then uh, ultimately snow before ending this is tonight at midnight for us the snow will be out of here you know late this afternoon uh should be a really good event uh, going on down around dothan at that point uh, late tonight in mobile atmore geneva 
And then tomorrow is just very cold and dry. Look at modeling. Uh, first off, this is the high-res NAM, the snow projection. You can see it's it's kind of backed off in anything up this way. And again, there could be a dusting around Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Tries to put down, you know, maybe a half inch up in uh, around DeKalb County, maybe around Lookout Mountain. But clearly the bigger totals are down to the south. This is a look at the same model centered on Mobile. And remember... Uh, the, the big problem down south is going to be the, you know, the travel, bridge, icing. Uh, even down near the Gulf Coast where this stuff begins to sleet and freezing rain, that's going to mean icing. And there's a lot of bridges near the Alabama Gulf Coast. And again, I think of the you know, I-10 Bayway across the bay from Mobile to Spanish Fort. That thing could be really treacherous. Uh, but again, I think that's a pretty nice look at the placement of where the heavier snow could be. And uh, this is coming off the European and again, it kind of jives up nicely with the forecast. A dusting around here, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden. Uh, the bigger numbers, the, the shades of blue, that's two inches or more. Uh, kind of south of a line from Linden to Montgomery to uh, Lafayette. Suggesting maybe Montgomery and Auburn getting two inches or so. And look at that thing. It's got a bullseye of 4.7 inches at Troy. We're sending Brian Peters down to Troy today. We'll see if that thing will verify. But remember, if you're driving south, that the travel down there is going to be pretty nasty uh, late today, tonight, and tomorrow morning. Um, so just be aware of that. I thought this was interesting. This is the Buff Kit Snow Analysis for Montgomery. It's got amounts ranging from really about three-quarters of an inch to two and a half inches on the high end. So a big South Alabama snow event. We'll watch it all unfold. Let's go to Thursday. Thursday morning is going to be cold. Again, lows between 10 and 15. And clearly, the colder valleys will see single-digit lows, both uh, Wednesday, tomorrow morning, and Thursday morning. Uh, but at least we start to warm up during the day Thursday. A chance we see low 40s. This is Friday. I think we'll see the 50s. That'll be kind of exciting. Moisture increases. But the sky should be partly sunny during the day. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. The flow is flattened out uh, down below that. Uh, still, the deeper moisture a little west of the state. This is at midday Saturday. And, hey, the, the GFS printing a high of 61. This is Saturday night. A pretty good batch of showers coming in. Nothing severe. Don't think we see any thunder. That might be the best chance of rain over the weekend. will be late Saturday and Saturday night. And then Sunday by midday, drier air begins to move in here from the west. Uh, the high Sunday will probably drop back into the uh, mid-50s. And Monday looks dry and seasonal. Lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s. That's where we should be for early February. And Tuesday, a week from today, pretty good-looking shortwave across the Plain States. And again, the model has been very consistent in this idea. A uh, storm develops in the southern plains. That could be snowy for Kansas and, Nebraska and uh, Missouri. But down here in the warm sector, kind of breezy and mild, uh, we get up maybe in the 60s, and uh, that could set the stage for some thunder. This is uh, Wednesday the 5th. Batch of showers and thunderstorms coming in here. But really, th this run has been keeping the heavier rains north of here. But clearly, pretty decent chance of rain, maybe some thunder by the middle part of next week. Go there toward the uh, end of the forecast. This is the 9th of February. Pretty good, pretty good rain event showing up there. And the 10th, ooh, look what's back. The big trough in the east and cold air returns. Yeah, sure, it's going to be you know cold from time to time in February, as it should be. But not so sure it's consistently cold like it's been this month. And on the 12th, we begin to warm back up. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay warm and God bless.